I'm Jane Sauer from Jane Sauer Gallery at 652 Canyon Road here in Santa Fe. And I'm talking to you at Sofa West, which is a great show. And the work I'm going to talk to you about is Irina Zetsiga. She is a ceramist working in porcelain, doing actually China painting. And from her work, it's very easy to see that she's classically trained and has a wild imagination. Uh, Arena was born in Russia, lived in Moscow. Uh, and you can really see her classical uh, training. She went to the university in St. Petersburg. And her first job out of university and for many years was illustrating children's books. So they have a very romantic side to them. You can picture them in children's books, um, the bird forms and the gold. And yet she is not, she has no fear, which is one of the wonderful things about her. And this figure, when you first look at it, is this sweet, sweet young girl with this tender young breast. And then as you grow lower and you're view of it, you realize that it's an androgynous figure. And she's, um, it, it has made her, with this very classic form, become very contemporary also, very contemporary uh, statement. And the wonderful part of her is, part of her art, art is that she not only has tremendous imagination, but she has the skill set interpret her imagination into art. And one of the wonderful things about this particular piece, which I'll show you some others too, is that she interprets three-dimensionally coral. And then she also paints coral. And then she continues on with a necklace made of black coral and little tiny pieces of coral that she's interpreted into a painting and of course the curls going down her head you only realize when you look at it up close you begin to realize that their quality their curviness and that they're green and they're part of the tree and she sort of leaves not one single detail undone and of course the fish and their fish on this side i particularly love this one is called Bulldog, and one of the most remarkable parts of him is this painting on his back. And it's just, you just think she must be using a brush that has one hair in it to get this magnificent detail. And he has fabulous toenails, sides, and on one side is a wheel, besides his legs is a little edgy and his eyes are pretty fantastic too and then he comes out of a matador and this is an artist that doesn't have any fears it's I believe a male dog because note his little ears and his little horn. It is meant to be a teapot. Well, a metaphor for a teapot, which a lot of ceramic artists like. And so this is the teapot where you pour in and the stopper. And then his mouth is where you would pour out the tea. A lot of ceramic artists have used that. It's a, a very uh, classical uh, ceramic form is teacups and teapots. So a lot of artists have picked up on using that. And he has a wonderful face. 